Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm going to show you how to set up WebDisk to store and manage files on your account. cPanel offers several ways to manage files on your account. File Manager, FTP, SFTP, and WebDisk. WebDisk allows you to use an encrypted connection, so it's more secure than legacy methods, such as FTP. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's scroll down to the Files section and click on WebDisk. The WebDisk interface will appear. At the top of the interface, we see the main WebDisk account. This account uses your cPanel account's username and password. You probably don't want to give that out to every employee or member of the organization that uses this domain, so you should set up additional WebDisk accounts for them. Let's go ahead and set up a new WebDisk account. Enter a username for the WebDisk account. Then select one of the domains on this cPanel account. I'll go ahead and select example.com. In the password text box, enter a password for the WebDisk account. Then confirm it. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of the password. To let the interface generate a secure password for you, click the Password Generator button. After you copy the password into a safe place, click Use Password. I'll click Cancel to use my original password. Then enter a directory for the WebDisk account to use. The system will suggest one for you. Select whether the WebDisk account will have read-write permissions or read-only permissions on the directory. This is useful if you are creating an account for someone to download or review content, but not edit or add to it. Recent versions of Windows require that you enable Digest Authentication support in order to access your WebDisk over a clear text, unencrypted connection. If the server has an SSL certificate signed by a recognized certificate authority and you are able to make an SSL connection over port 2078, you do not need to enable this. Check with your system administrator to confirm all of this. I'll, I'll leave it disabled for now. Finally, to create this WebDisk account, click Create. A new interface with a success message will appear. There are also options to change the directory privacy and configure a connection. But we'll go over these another way later in this video. Let's go ahead and click Go Back to return to the WebDisk interface. At the bottom of the interface, the Manage Additional WebDisk Accounts table lists the WebDisk accounts that you've created. You can perform several actions on these WebDisk accounts. If you click the Directory path, the File Manager interface will appear for that directory. I am a file, you put documents in me. But we'll go over File Manager in another video. Click the pencil icon to change the WebDisk account's home directory. Click the suitcase icon to set directory privacy for the WebDisk home directory. But we'll go over directory privacy in another video. You can enable or disable Digest Authentication here. In case the user changes operating systems or connection methods, you'll need to enter the password that you set for the WebDisk account. Click Change Password to change the WebDisk account's password. A new interface will appear with options similar to when you created the account. But let's click Go Back and return to the WebDisk interface. You can also delete the account. A new interface will appear, and you need to confirm that you want to delete the account. But let's click Go Back and return to the WebDisk interface. And you can click Set Read Only or Set Read Write to change permissions for the WebDisk account. Finally, this is the most important option. Let's click Configure Client Access. A new interface will appear, and if you use an insecure connection or have a weak SSL certificate on your account, several warnings will appear at the top. Also a warning that port 2078 must be open on your computer's firewall to allow SSL connections. We provide configuration scripts for Apple Mac OS, Microsoft Windows, several flavors of Linux, and some mobile operating systems. 
I'm recording this video on a MacBook Pro that runs macOS High Sierra, so I'll select that one out of the list. And I'll click Download Configuration Script. Now my browser is downloading the configuration script. For your clients and users, you can attach that script to an email so they can run it. But I'll go ahead and open the zipped package and run the script. This dialog box tells you the location you'll connect to. Let's go! You may see a warning dialog or two about self-signed certificates or security issues. I'll go ahead and continue. Finally, I'll sign into the server with the web disk username and password. Be sure to use the username at the domain name. Looks like we've successfully mounted the web disk. We can treat it like any other disk on our computer. I'll go ahead and drag a photo of my cat to the new web disk directory. Yay, Tinny Cat, you're on the internet now. Good kitty. I'll add links to the description area in YouTube to all the documentation I've referenced in this video, okay? For more about cPanel, go to cPanel.com or follow cPanel on Twitter. Thank you for watching.